Greetings. The League Mid-Year Conference has come and gone and was a great success in sunny St. George. Here are the three takeaways that will set the stage for the upcoming summer of outreach, engagement, and work. First, there is more that unites us as an organization and as local government than divides us. Both city and county officials alike appreciated the opportunity to come together, discuss issues, and build relationships at Mid-Year. Thank you to the Utah Association of Counties for their partnership in the overlapping conference. Second, regardless of the size or location of your city or town, we have a place for you on Team ULCT. For the first time in our history, we introduced caucuses at Midyear to bring together communities of commonality. In the caucuses, we discussed challenges and priorities that these communities face. We as a staff will distill all of the feedback and report it back to the Board of Directors. The League membership also voted to modernize our structure and expand the League Board to 21 members beginning in September. Watch for information about the nominations process to arrive mid-summer. Third, and speaking of interim, we outlined the key issues for this summer and the upcoming 2019 legislative session, including housing policy and water policy. We presented about housing affordability, the housing gap, which is the fact that there are more new households than there are new houses being built, moderate income housing plans, extraterritorial water rights, and financing the repair and replacement of water infrastructure. For example, it is critical that your city complies with House Bill 259, which is the new requirement that your city update your moderate income housing component in your general plan and prepare a report about your progress. You can learn more how to comply with that bill on our website at ulct.org. You'll also find information on the website about other bills that passed and relevant information such as a sample transportation resolution from SB 136 and financial data. We asked the membership to volunteer or voluntell others to participate on internal work groups this summer on housing and water. If you are interested, please notify us at info at ulct.org. Thanks again for your attendance at Midyear and for your support of the Utah League of Cities and Towns. Remember, government closest to the people governs best.